A convoy of community support took over several streets in Burnsville today. This packed parking lot shows the overwhelming turnout. Everything from tow trucks and flatbeds to semis and Silverados. Crowds of people lining the street to show their support. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Derek James. That grassroots tribute to all first responders comes as we near one week since officers Matthew Ruge and Paul Elmstrand, along with firefighter paramedic Adam Finseth, were shot and killed. The BCA says Shannon Gooden told officers he was unarmed before firing more than 100 rounds at first responders. Investigators say he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It's been nearly a week since the three first responders were killed responding to a domestic violence call. Today, a convoy hit the streets paying tribute. As our Jason Rantala shows us, the attendance surpassed expectations. It's a big convoy. Several hundred trucks, seemingly too many to count. Over a thousand, yeah. Took over the Burnsville Center parking lot Saturday. They're gathering and honoring Burnsville's fallen first responders. It's been a really hard and heavy week and just knew I wanted to be here. It brought Kelly Case here from New Prague. I think there'll be a lot of chills. Right around noon, the convoy rolled from the mall past Burnsville PD, where the emergency vehicles honoring the fallen officers and paramedic are now well covered under bouquets and balloons. It was so close to home that it was like, this is scary. This could happen to anyone at any point. Friends Clint, Tucker, Austin, and Brian never anticipated their idea for a convoy, which spread across one community page after another, would grow to this. People are messaging me left and right. Can I put my car in? It's nothing fancy. I said, bring it on it. Means a lot of people care and want to show their support to the community. A convoy so large, Justin Knapper from Montgomery is still stuck in traffic more than two hours after the first vehicles hit the streets. Been sitting for about an hour now, and we've been here since eight. From those in the convoy to those supporting from the street, being here Saturday was about paying respect for those willing to give their lives to save others. Just good to see all the support and everyone here for. For everyone, it, it hit the city really hard and the law enforcement and EMT families for sure. In Burnsville, Jason Rantala, WCCO News.